Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. <laughs> okay, listen, listen. I know that I said that I would only be doing these Will I Buy It style videos about once a month or so, and I think it's been less than that. But, okay, I feel like there are so many brands that have like jumped right on the cash grab train or a lot of brands were already on that train, but now they're in like the elite car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This analogy is getting a little weird, but I just have to say it's cash grab city up in here and I want to talk about it. I also think that there are quite a few new launches that I'm really intrigued by that I want to talk about. We can talk about how we feel about this. Now, of course, this series was started by Samantha March. I love me some Sam and I really love this series. I will, of course, have her most recent Will I Buy It link down below. Now, I am personally calling this my save, splurge, or stock or save, stock, or splurge. I don't even know what I'm calling this. That's the kind of day it's been today. But basically, I'm gonna be talking to you about whether I'm gonna save my money on these, whether I'm gonna splurge and buy the product, or whether I'm gonna stock the site for a good sale and pick it up at a discount. We don't need any FOMO up in here. <laughs> I really, I really have a hard time buying anything at full price anymore. So we're gonna talk about the products that I wanna get, but maybe not at full price. So if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, before we get into new releases, I just wanted to let all of you know, if you're curious what is on my Fauche, this is the look from my Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Balm review. I have a very in-depth review talking about all my thoughts, my tips, who I think this product's for. So I will go ahead and link that down below. So check out that video if you're curious about the makeup or you wanna know my thoughts on this product because I'm pretty sure I did talk about this in my last save, splurge, or stock. If I didn't, surprise, I bought it, obviously. <laughs> now let's get into the new releases. All right. <laughs> I'm not, I am not even gonna wait. I'm not even gonna wait to talk about this one because you all know, you all know I was gonna go and have to talk about this one. This freaking Cup of Noodles collaboration with Hip Dot and obviously Cup, is it Cup Noodles? I thought it was Cup of Noodles. That's interesting. Can, can we just, can we just say here, the whole food collab thing is going too far. It's going too far. We're obviously gonna get into Frosted Flakes. I'm not even, we're not there yet, but we're gonna talk about this freaking cup of noodles. So I have to say, in my day before I read ingredient labels, <laughs> I I enjoyed a bit of cup of noodles in my life and I'm gonna call it cup of noodles because saying cup noodles just doesn't seem right. I know that this is a total nostalgia cash grab or a possible like gag gift cash grab, but this whole collection can we just talk? Okay, the shades, ramen noodle, diced carrot, hot and spicy, teriyaki, roasted corn, seasoning, soy sauce, and spicy chili. Really? So let's just look at this color story right now. So this to me is a color story that we all probably have in our collection unless you don't love warm eyeshadow looks. And if you don't love warm eyeshadow, why the hell would you be buying this anyway? So can we just take a minute to look at this like little limited edition collector's box? So you have the palette, you have the lip and cheek set, you have the powder puff, and then you have a cup of noodles makeup bag. So, and the chopsticks. Did I say the chopsticks? I think I said the chopsticks, but good God. Now, if, you, if you're excited about this and you love it and you're gonna snag it, great. Uh, for nostalgia for me, can we bring something back that's like maybe She-Ra or Thundercats themed? I don't really need cup of noodles. Like I would like something that has a little bit more fun in the theme and a little less food. But anyway, speaking of food, let's just talk about it. Let's talk about this Frosted Flakes collab with Glamlight. This one is, I'm gonna say, it's slightly less ridiculous than the cup of noodles, but it's still so crazy. I'm. It's not so crazy that I didn't expect Glamlight to do something like this, but Really? I have to say, the color story is about what I expected, right? So you see, with the entire kit, you have a lipstick, lip liner, you have the lip gloss and lip liner, and then you have that little, like, Frosted flake cereal bowl of highlight. I have to say, like, I've talked to a lot of different friends, it's like, well, at least it wasn't a gold flaky. Like, it wasn't a flaky eyeshadow thing. You can see also the palette on the inside. This is exactly what I expected. Now, I do have to say, the colors are cute. I do think that you need a couple more light shades. Like, I think that they needed 
like maybe something that is sort of like the flake color in here. I don't know that it's something for me. I don't wear a lot of blue eyeshadow. I think this is only gonna be a collection for either Frosted Flakes freaks or blue eyeshadow lovers. I do love a blue and orange eye look, I will say that, but I feel like this palette should have maybe one less blue, like those blue shimmers, like three of them, those three in the middle row, some of those could have been taken out. You could take out one of those shades and put in one more neutral shade. You might be thinking, Kelly, you're boring, but I just think it's needed in this palette to have one more grounding shade. The, again, I'm obviously not buying this, but wow. Like, what do you think's next? What, if you had to guess, what do you think Glamlight is going to do next? I would be curious to know your thoughts. Yeah, okay. So let's move on to other things here on Trend Mood. Uh, I did a House Labs like sale video talking about all of their products going on 50% off and that the brand was doing a rebrand. I had a feeling that it was going to be going down the clean beauty route because, you know, the sneak peeks on their Instagram, it was all like green shades. And in their stories, they talked a little bit about like clean beauty or whatever. So regardless of what you think of clean beauty, if you find it interesting, if you're curious, if you think it's all a hoax, this obviously means a huge reformulation for the brand, if not like all new products. So I did pick up some of the things in the sale. Um, I found some real gems. If you want to see that video, I will also have that link down below. But wow, I definitely tried a few things that I wish that I had tried earlier. So I'm very curious to see what is coming for the brand just from a you know, makeup quality standpoint. I have a feeling I'll probably be snagging a few things when they launch at Sephora on June 9th. So I'm excited for the brand because I think that this means a much higher selling opportunity for House Labs, but I also think that it takes a little bit of accessibility away. I know that you can order from Sephora, but I think that a lot of people maybe just liked the quick shipping from Amazon and maybe find it a little bit more accessible for them. I'm not quite sure, but I will probably be picking up a few things when the brand launches very soon. So I'm very excited to see what is coming up. Let me know, are you curious about this brand as well? Have you tried anything from the original launches and are you gonna be picking up something in the future? I definitely will be. So let's see what else we have here. Uh, I have to say, so I've never bought any Shantikai makeup. The price range for me is just, it's just a little bit up there. I know that my friend Aileen really enjoys this brand. And when I saw this packaging, I was like, dang, so pretty. I wish that my makeup budget was higher, but it's not. But I think that <laughs> these products look very, very pretty. Now I have to say this packaging is more what gets me than anything, which you might be thinking like Kelly, but you just like totally diss Cleona and the like, clearish like lucite packaging there's just something about this that i think is very summery and fresh i won't be getting this because i can't see this being so astoundingly revolutionary that it's worth top dollar but i did think this was kind of cute very like off-brand for the brand though so let me know if you are a shantakai fan did you think this was super fun or were you turned off by the like neon vibes okay we're jumping back into collab territory here uh, i did post about this on my instagram stories by the way if you do want more thoughts on launches that are released i do usually share share a few little tidbits in my stories on instagram so you can follow me at keep beauty real but i did share this stranger things collab with matt cosmetics I think that the palettes look cute, but not necessary for me. I, I really don't think that any of this is necessary for me. The thing that draws me in is the powder brush. I won't be getting it. Uh, maybe if they had like a big sale, I do feel like MAC products go on sale so quickly now. So I don't think I'll be snagging anything from this. It's nothing that I need, but the brush is really cute and I'm excited to see a Stranger Things collab. I think, I think they could have done a little bit better, but I also think it could have been way worse. Okay. I have a couple Charlotte Tilbury things that I want to chat to you about. So the first thing I want to talk to you about are these on the go kits. So these are little minis of basically an eye wand, a lip and cheek wand, and then a highlighter wand for $75 y'all 75 for that tiny amount of product. Like these are cute. I think that they are very chic. I mean, if you love Charlotte Tilbury and you are packing a backpack, <laughs> to go somewhere and you need a very small amount of makeup, maybe. I just can't imagine spending $75 on these. I also, this is like a cream wand. Um, I would rather have seen like little babies of the uh, beauty light wand and like the contour wand. 
I would rather have seen the creamy liquid products than these because then you like know the quality of the product that's inside. But these look, other than the eye wand, these look like new products, right? Are they? If not, let me know. But I think that these are new products other than the eye wands. So it's like you're spending $75 on something that you don't even know the formula of. I'm gonna pass. Okay, so another Charlotte Tilbury that I wanna talk to you about, and I literally cannot remember if I talked about this in my last video, but I don't think so. I don't think I did. I think I just chatted with a few people on Instagram about this. So these are the Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzers. These are a cream face and body bronzer, and they look so pretty. I love the package. I mean, of course, the like cute little embossing on the inside is beautiful. I'm definitely gonna be getting this. I'm definitely gonna be getting this. They are gonna be $55. <sighs> that hurts, but it's Charlotte Tilbury. I'm definitely getting this. Do I need another cream bronzer? No, but I just feel like I need this. I just feel like I want this. I just feel like I want this. So I will be getting one of these. <sighs> okay. Okay, we can chat quick about this Star Wars collab. It is like collab crazy up in here. Does anybody ever just do original content anymore? I'm starting to get a little, a little like turned up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna simmer down. But okay, I like Star Wars. I'm not like a super fan of Star Wars. This does not intrigue me at all. Do I think that they did a pretty good job considering, you know, considering the aesthetic? Yes. Am I gonna get it? No. Like I honestly, I don't know what ColourPop would have to bring out for me to want to snag it. Again, maybe Thundercats or She-Ra. Then I, I probably would. If it was a decent color story, I'd probably get Thundercats or She-Ra, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, here we have another chocolate palette from Too Faced that looks very freaking similar to all of their other palettes. I do like these lipstick bullets for sure. Uh, that's super cute. Um, I like the outside of the palette too, but like the inside, like meh, honestly, I'm, I'm really curious. I'm really surprised that Too Faced is still around as a brand. I am not going to lie. You'll have to let me know. Are you someone that still buys Too Faced products? I cannot remember the last time I purchased a Too Faced product. I do enjoy some of what I have, but I can't imagine ever purchasing anything again. Like, you know that I love the uh, Chocolate Bar Gold palette. I really do enjoy that palette. But like, now that I have that, I don't think I really need anything from Too Faced anymore. I think they keep doing a lot of the same. So what are they, I, I'm just surprised. I am just surprised. Maybe it's like, you know, if you are watching a lot of beauty YouTube content, I feel like you're at like a different echelon <laughs> than like the average beauty consumer. So maybe it's like just people who randomly like pop into Ulta and see like a semi cute palette and don't know that there are things that are like even higher quality than Too Faced. I'm not sure. I'm just surprised that the brand is still here. So let's move on. This P. Louise eyeshadow palette, I love the theme of this. I love the tones of this. You've got some yellows, some like golds, some grungy tones, and some greens. It's like from like citron all the way up into like Kelly green and like even like a little like limey neon green. I like this. I don't think that there is enough depth and I feel like you could take out half of these shades. Yeah, that's my thoughts. There isn't really much on here on Trend Mood. It just says coming soon. Uh, I will not be buying it, but like, oh, so close. Love the theme. It needs to be like narrowed down. Like, can we get a Cliff's Notes version of this palette, please? Then maybe I'd be interested. And maybe with a little bit more depth. <sighs> really? Like, okay. <laughs> Is Essence... Is Essence the the best brand that Jurassic World could partner with? What about this screams Jurassic World? Like nothing? Like nothing. The color of the brushes is more like Tropical Fiesta. I don't know. I mean, yeah, you have some green and you have some brown to like represent dinosaurs maybe. This is a total miss. Like, what is this? Uh, again, another cash grab collab. Ooh, cash grab collab. That's gonna be the name of this video. All right, another MAC Cosmetics release. These are the Color Excess Gel Pencil Eyeliners. 
lots of very vibrant colors here. $23 each, that's obviously kind of pricey. I did go ahead and pick up more of the House Labs gel eyeliners after doing my video because I really did like those. I have one eyeliner. I have one eyeliner, it's not a gel eyeliner. So this is the Technical Liner from MAC in Color Matters. It's like this kind of like limey green shade here. This, this was really disappointing. The color is beautiful. If you swatch it on your hand, it's great. If you try to put it in your waterline, it really doesn't want to go. If you put it on your eye, like on your actual eye skin, lower or like upper lash line, it, it's hard to get a crisp line because you have to like use quite a bit of pressure, even when it was like a fresh new liner. I bought it right when these came out. It just isn't the greatest formula. I'm hoping that these are creamier, but I don't see picking any of these up right now. It says that they're 24 hour wear, smudge resistant and smooth glide application. I don't know, we will see. Maybe if I'm like in Ulta and they have them on hand or if I'm at a matte counter, I would maybe swatch them. But for 23 bucks, I can't see picking these up. I mean, that's around the price of the Urban Decay ones, right? And I know that I like those ones, so I'd probably just pick those up. But if you are a MAC lover, that is coming down the pipeline, as they say. I know that this one has been like talked about. All right, here is a product from Jones Road Beauty, which of course is Bobbi Brown's brand. This is the... WTF, the What the Foundation. So we have 12 shades here. Um, so looking at these shades, I have to say I love that you can see some very deep dark. I also have to say I don't think that they go light enough. And I think that they are lumping people into depths rather than like skin tones. So from what I see here, porcelain and fair both look like cool tone shades, just from this picture. Light looks like a neutral shade. Beige looks cool toned. And then you have medium and medium honey, which both look, medium looks like neutral to neutral warm. And then medium honey and honey are both on the warmer side. And then as you get into the deeper tones, most of them look more warm, although it does look like maybe you have a little bit more of like a neutral shade in there. So I feel like there are just a, a few gaps, a few gaps here. Also, I'm so confused because when Bobbi Brown launched this brand, she kind of was like dissing foundation. And that's why she has those like little like color sticks or whatever, which is so funny because sometimes you see content where people are like, oh, you don't need foundation. You just need a little of this color stick. And people like basically draw it all over their face. And I'm like, and the difference is, like, it's cool if you're just gonna put a little bit here, a little bit down the nose, like here to hide some redness, but sometimes people just basically like paint their whole face, draw draw a beautiful picture on their face and then like blend it all in and it's like, so you just basically put foundation all over using a stick, that's cool. So I don't know, I also have to say WTF is like, seems a little off brand, seems a little off brand for me. So I'm very confused by this. I'm not really all that interested in it. There are so many like, tinted balm things coming out on the market right now. This is not one that I need. Oh shoot, okay. I gotta, I gotta kind of backpedal a little bit. Seeing these lip injection maximum plump shades, uh, this reminds me that I do like some of these Too Faced glosses. I can't, I can't remember if this is the like type of gloss that I like or if this is the different one. I'll look at it. I won't be buying any of these. Honestly, I need to put myself on a like lip gloss ban for a while. The one thing is, okay, so I know that I just picked up a lot of the House Labs lip glosses and lip oils, but I will be curious to know about their reformulated lip glosses. So I might pick up one of those, but other than that, I am like, I'm off the lip gloss train for a while. I need to slow my roll, but it just did remind me that I really do like those Too Faced plumping glosses. I, I really think that they work and the colors are really pretty. So I'm here looking on Indie Makeup Hotspot. And I mean, there's a lot coming out, but I don't really see anything that like trips my trigger. We have Lust Beauty Cosmetics. That's actually kind of a cute palette, but nothing that I need. We have a very blue and purple heavy palette from Copacetic Cosmetics. Again, not really something that I need. This palette actually looks pretty cute. This is from Delightfully Flawless. This is the Tropic Like It's Hot palette. That's a cute name. You know, I like the contrast and the bit of like neutral with neon with a little bit of deep. I think I actually like this palette quite a bit. I've never heard of this brand. How much is this? So it says nine matte, five shimmer, and one pressed glitter. Uh, 20 bucks. 
Okay, have you ever heard of this brand? I have not. I like this color story. I just don't know much about this brand. Okay, I have not bought any Sugar Drizzle yet. I've not bought anything from Sugar Drizzle. This palette, it, it might be the one. When does this release? Have I missed it already? May 14th. No, I have not missed it. So <laughs> this is the Man I Love Frog eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh. So first of all, I think this is like all shimmers. And while it is leaning... So, okay, in the pan, it looks like green and purple with a splash of blue. But as I'm looking at the swatches, it looks a little bit more blue heavy. Uh, maybe not quite as much. There's definitely quite a bit of purple in here though, but ooh, it's just so pretty. I mean, I do like a good purple. Like purple's not something that I normally go for, but once I've got it on my eyes, I feel super cute. Okay, y'all have to let me know. How do you feel about Sugar Drizzle? I know some people really, really love the brand. Please let me know down in the comments if I should get this palette, if you would be curious about my thoughts, because if I if I get a good response from this one, I might snag this to, to try and also to review for all of you. Oh my God, okay, can I just say, can I just say, I'm looking at these Mythic makeup sponges from Mythic Beauty House, never heard of this brand. I know that they're meant to look like hearts, but they just look like little booties. I'm not gonna lie, like especially because the first one that caught my eye was the peach one and it just made me think of a little peach booty. It just gives me the like peach emoji vibes and we all know that usually that's like the symbol for a cute little booty. So <laughs> they look they look really cute. Uh, oh, $12 for two sponges, that's not too bad. I've never tried these, but now I just have booty on the brain. Okay, y'all chime in if you've tried Luxy Beauty. I have not. Uh, I see that they dropped some new singles on the 29th, so I'm obviously behind here. They look really pretty, but I have heard that their swatches can be a little, like, untrue, if you will. I mean, okay, looking at these swatches, I feel like I probably have dupes for all the shades that I'm interested in from this collection, but these do look pretty. Uh, yeah, this is not a need for me. These look cute, but I don't need any of them. But let me know how you feel about Luxie Beauty. This is basically my way to like glean your thoughts on makeup here too. So I'm very curious. Let's all chat about makeup in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on Luxie. I'm on Chic Profile Official and there is one luxury item I wanna talk about. <laughs> this is on my like to try at some point. This is on my bucket list of makeup. These look so pretty. So this is the new Super Loaded Peau de Sante, and this is like a rosy peach glow. But can we just look at these? Like I wanna swipe through here and show you these swatches. So you have Peau de Rose, Peau de Sante, Peau de Peche, and Peau de Soleil. I hear such good things about these products. Peau de Peche has been on my list for a long time. Peau de Sante also looks like something I could really, really get behind. These are just so pricey for the little like pan that you get, but they just look so chic and pretty. Oh, so sometime, sometime in my life, I am going to get one of these to try. So at some point in my life, I do want to get one of these to try. I have to say though, I don't feel like these swatches look real. Don't these just look like superimposed swatches? I don't feel like these look real at all. But uh, I do know, <laughs> I've actually seen some people wearing these and I do think I would like Peau de Sante and Peau de Peche. Probably Peau de Rosé too, but um, it's gonna have to wait in life right now. First of all, I have so many creamy cheek products. I would die if I spent this much money on something and then it went bad before I could like really use it, at least like halfway use it up. So I won't be getting this. But I feel like at the end of these videos, I always have like one luxury item that I'm like, ooh, I'd really like to try these. So this is my one for today. This is my luxury item, the Westman Atelier, probably the Peau de Sante, just because I think that it's so pretty and it's new. So let me know if you have any of these and if I should splurge on one at some point. So I'm just realizing that yet again, I didn't go by my save, splurge, or stock. Uh, I will say there was a lot. There was a lot that I'm gonna save on. Um, splurge? Right off the bat, I will say that the House Labs items, just because I really did fall in love with a few of those items that I tried on in that video, I'm very curious to see what the brand is bringing us, especially since they're like going to be sold in Sephora. Not that I think, think that Sephora is the like end all because there are a lot of amazing makeup brands that aren't sold in Sephora. A lot of my favorite brands aren't sold in Sephora, but I'm very curious to see. So I will definitely be snagging some of those right away. 
obviously not on sale, uh, the Sugar Drizzle Polish Palette. Please let me know if you would be curious in seeing a review on that, how you feel about the brand, if you have tried them. Uh, let's see, what was the other thing? Oh, the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer. That one I'm gonna get. Would I love to snag it with a discount? Yes, do I think that's probably gonna happen? No, because it's coming out. I can't see. Other than that, there really wasn't anything else that I'm like, yeah, I'd, I'd stock the site and pick that up on sale. I mean, maybe the MAC eyeliners, if there was like a really good sale, maybe. Other than that, I, I just don't see anything else that like is really tripping my trigger right now. Nothing is blowing my skirt up. I just feel like I have a lot of makeup and I got a lot of wonderful things this spring and I don't see needing anything anytime soon. So yeah, I think that I will not be spending a whole lot of money in the next month or so. So we will see if that is a lie because I didn't plan on buying a lot this spring and I bought a lot. I bought a lot this spring. Luckily that all worked my favor. I don't really think there was anything that I really didn't like. So fingers crossed that I didn't like use up all of my like lucky makeup karma already this year because I feel like everything I bought this spring I've really enjoyed. So hopefully that doesn't mean that my summer and fall and winter purchases are gonna be a dud. So maybe I should like pull the reins back just a little bit and be a little bit more cautious in my buying. Hmm, is that a superstition? I'm not quite sure, but I wanna thank you all for taking some time out of your day to spend it with me. It really does mean so much. I'm very curious to know your thoughts on what I talked about today. So don't forget to leave a comment down below and give this video a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you really soon.